folks. Welcome to my lab. Anyway, there's some smart vines all over the world. And basically, if you look at your uh, video link, that you will end up seeing the truth that power, money, and control are always after anybody who knows and they want your patents and they want your ideas and when you have something that you can differentiate a little bit different than someone before Tesla uh, a few things on this table here that are a little bit different than and I'm not gonna basically get down to it because basically us scientists have to stick together us techno geeks us brains us yes and it's nice to have brains that are basically not scared of crap can take care of themselves because basically that frustrates power, money, and control. Especially when someone like that has a mind like that and they have a lot of thump that basically just likes him because basically he's going to have money anyway. One way or the other. Everybody needs friends. It's interesting. The world is a very small world, ladies and gentlemen. And as you see here, this is a, what I call a dynamo. Okay? And uh, Mr. Uh, Tesla, who's dead, uh, would have called it something else. This is a 10-day conglomeration, possibly. They might have cheated on time. Uh, there's some fictition here to throw people off so that they would think that, okay, this works and that doesn't work and that works and this doesn't work. Friction, ladies and gentlemen. Static electricity. And you can get a lot of stuff to make friction. And we're going to talk a little bit about hydrogen. Hydrogen, I'm sure that'll pick up a few black boxes with little microphones going crazy on Beano Black because Beano knows science very, very well. And Beano is an electrician. There's some power. Okay, so let's go to some facts. This is facts. Okay. Nice table. It's not all sitting there. So... I'll be back in a little bit to the mad scientist room. Ladies and kids and little folks and big folks. Quick uh, class on hydrogen and oxygen of water. Simple statement that water is made from hydrogen and oxygen doesn't give us a very clear picture of what really goes into the creation of molecule of water. A quick look at the chemical equation for the formation of water tells us more, okay? Work it. More. Black box, Kerasoff, private dicks. Take your pictures. You're not going to learn much about science because your brain is not good enough. All the thing you know how to do is catch criminals. Basically, you can't catch Bino at doing anything because Bino is not a criminal. Hydrogen gas, ladies and gentlemen, emits emission of spectral line at 1420 megahertz. Bino Black, electrician, communications expert, big brick. Now, here we go with... Uh, Basically, what they found out there is they're going to pretty much say show you that. Okay, uh, the number one thing is this idea that you can make oxygen and hydrogen and anything anyway because if you move something fast through space, you're going to get some frosty frosts on something out there because it's cold. Okay, so I don't want everybody to think that they can screw the water population down here on on the Earth over because those are the ones that are going to end up going to jail someday if they do it in mass quantities. So. A uh, large portion of science plan by SK went out there and seen this thing, and it's like f uh, 4.3 something away. Uh, and it's supposed to be over by Hydra, and the reason they call it Hydra is because more than likely a long time ago they seen, just from looking through an eyepiece of the idea that there's probably hydrogen up there, okay? Because those actions, and we know about everything in a tube and so forth and so on you know communications and so forth and so such and you know space and speed and travel through time and space okay so basically they find that out there and it's in let's go to that I'll take you to uh, what we sh basically know it to be now if you've been paying attention to Beano's all of my movies do you know that stuff moves around the Sun and something and there's way more than one thing that moves around the Sun awful quickly Okay, not really fast, not you know, but pretty damn quick when you think about the mileage and the stuff that it does. Okay, so we got this here. I'm not even gonna say it or try to say it correctly. And here's the data on it. And don't let the size screw with you. And you got to start watching sizes. 
Easily visible to the naked eye. The sun is also. Okay, 4300K. A little bit cooler than the sun. The sun's to the right. The stats on the sun. Okay, and this is where we set on a plot out in space on it. And you've seen it somewhere else before. It moves around. And we got the sun, and the sun moves around. Now, the sun is coming back to us right now. If you've noticed what I showed you that before, it was probably a little bit more up this way. The sun's moving its ass pretty damn good, and we've been moving our ass pretty damn good, too. Okay, so we've got movement to the sun, where the, the idea of whether the whole main sequence moves and the sun sits still, but uh, basically, I think everybody needs to cough it up and say that the sun actually does flip and move. Okay, we've heard the bangs. We see the flares. We know there's stuff moving around up there. And if you paid attention to all my videos, basically you just got to go back because there's no reason why I should have to do a, a super giants uh, all the time when everybody doesn't understand the super giants and, and learn it and so forth. Because only so many computers can take so many kaplunks like that. And uh, black box, I hate you too. I don't. I basically hate the power, money, control that cuts your check every day. So anyway, uh, care of soft military side love the hell out of you okay here's kind of size comparison for you on the elf alfarid help alpard okay so say it any way you want okay that's size comparison so don't be paying attention to the mass size too much okay let's go down to locations right now so you know they're far apart There's Saturn over there. And this is our current sky chart. Okay, North America. So basically, if you've been seeing what you've seen down at Nehemiah, like I said, I didn't get too excited. I figured it was the moon. More than likely it is. I'm not even guaranteeing that it is, but it, more than likely it is. So close to the sun right now, we got Mercury. And all our constellations that you see there. Now, folks, scientists and astronomers have known about hydrogen for a long time, and more than likely what they think, everybody's seen through their telescope has always made them think and know, and that's why it got called Hydra, okay? That's why it has its bearer name of Hydra, because basically anybody that's basically seen it on a telescope knows that more than likely there's some moisture up there, okay? Hydrogen reactions, okay? And here's our constellation region that more than likely that very most positive if anything is ever going to sustain somewhere other than here on earth more than likely somewhere in that hydrogen belt okay it would be the smartest thing okay then also don't forget what I told you about Titan okay currently right now close to Hydra you have Saturn and what have I told you about Saturn and Titan okay so more than likely if you ever want a uh, space ticket, you want to get one to Saturn and the moon of uh, Titan. And pretty much this is real estate, folks. And also here on Earth. It seems to be that we've gotten along pretty good here on Earth lately. And if you really know everything, you really kind of know that we are really getting along pretty damn good. Earth is pretty damn peaceful lately, okay? Sometimes you got to go out there, get the bad boys, and... Uh, so, there's Saturn currently in the sky charts and with the constellation. So, what do you know? Beano Black, big prick, data, 1000% truth. So anyway, it takes a little bit of everything. So I got that telescope down there doing a good job. Remember the date I showed you. Being all black, pressure and pricks and bleeding truth 24 7. We never get to the bottom of everything. You only have so much time here on the big old apple. And the apple falls from the tree, people sin. And let's hope those little girls be good because otherwise, when Greenwich time, you burn the witch at the stake. No more witches. So anyway, be no black, big prick. 
Tell me I ain't religious. I'll teach you a new religion. So, holy crap. Wow. We're almost normal today. Check that out. Still off, but pretty close to norm. But then the bottom, our butt's shaking. So I haven't even looked at Earthquake. I guess maybe the last minute I'll try to. And uh, let's see what we got going on on actual real quick data where you just look and you go, wow, there, wow. So we'll see. But anyway, that is wow because look at all that. So you can't tell me something's not running into the sun, either electronically, statically, or actual bang, bang. Okay, so let's go down and take a look at, and as you see, you don't need to have much more than that. Let's go ahead and blow that picture up. Now, as I go to this picture, remember that er the sun is flaring, right? Well, that really doesn't look like a flare. That looks like whack, whack, whack. That looks like wham, wham, wham. Okay, that looks like bang, bang, bang. Okay, that looks like whammo, kaplowy, kaplooey. Okay, and it is, is, if it is a CME, then the flare of it is way in underneath the cover, and then it's still going around something like Bino says it's going around. And whatever mass they want to change the number to, 58, 55, or whatever, we do know that someone put a telescope on the space shuttle and took a nice little peeky poo at this. Okay? Nice little peeky poo, real close up. Close off everything. And this will be the shot that we had a second ago. There you go. I'm sure there's nothing there. Layers, layers, layers. So we know. Bino knows. Most everybody else knows. So remember when I got you looking at the sun, look around the rest of the stuff at space. Take a look at the moon tonight and so forth and so on and see what we get there. And see how much more the moon is illuminated than normally it should be. So, and yes, folks, you probably see the same thing, roundness up to the right, i.e. there. If you take a look at roundness there, more than likely roundness or something there, no matter what, blob, whatever. So, a lot more than just one, probably, okay? So, and we know, if anybody knows astronomy and astrology, and basically astronomers know all this supergiant stuff exists. And yep, it's pretty much time-lapsed, this video, because it's 10 days. What do you see? Magnetica, magnetica. I see a magnet. You see a magnet? I see a magnet. Friction, dynamo. Friction, dynamo. Friction, dynamo. So anyway, folks, electrical energy can be reduced in many more than one way. Anybody that knows about it, your first electrical class you usually go to, if you're a stupid electrician out there, I'm not going to re-educate you. It costs money. Like I told people, after a while, no more free lunch, and we're pretty much getting there. And it's going to be donation time pretty soon. And also... Just a simple thing to all the intelligent electricians that know everything in the flipping world out there. When they take a meter and they plug it into any uh, organic material like a potato or anything like that, the best thing is the stuff that grows underground. It's got a little bit more energy built up in it. Do a voltage check. Check your meter. Is your meter wrong? No, it's not. So there's some damn smart electricians out there, just about anyone I've ever worked with. It's pretty damn smart one way or the other. And never forget learning something every day, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not learning something every day, you're getting pretty close to being dead. So, more science with Bino later. So here's your new... It's not new, folks. It's your compositions of hydrogen. In a vacuum, ladies and gentlemen, in a vacuum... It's a lot faster. So, mad scientists, we're not just goddamn smart. All right. There's stuff out there in space, and they're letting you know about it, ladies and gentlemen. 
Sun's crossface spiking high.